Hi, it's Becky with A Better Way to Homeschool again. Still talking about curriculum. This is number two in a series. Um, curriculum can be distracting from educating my child. My goal is to have my kids be lifelong learners. And if I focus too much on what somebody else decides they need to know in chapter three on page 492, then I can get distracted from the fact that I'm trying to encourage my children to be lifelong learners. So anytime you look at curriculum, you need to remember that um, there is so much out there to help you, that there's too much, and you really need to filter your curriculum with, can this help me enrich my child's education? Curriculum is a resource only. It's not the Bible and you should use it to enrich and supplement your child's education, not to be the checklist of this is what we do in our homeschool day. We do this page in math, this page in language arts, this page in history, and this chapter in science with these experiments. That's not the, the point of homeschooling, um, is not to replicate what a classroom would look like. The point is to encourage, equip, and strengthen our children so that they will grow into adults that are not afraid to seek knowledge and to seek truth and that they they have that tool belt that they understand how to go from I don't know the answer to that question to let me explain to you this amazing thing that I just learned so how do you begin to choose a program for your family well this video is about the first step the first step is that you need to realize that it's very important for you to have a filter set in your heart, in your mind, that you use to analyze and look at any curriculum that you come across. For me, I use three filters. And I use these when I'm planning a school year, when I'm writing my own custom curriculum, or when I'm shopping for things to supplement what I'm doing with my children. The very first one that I ask myself is, will this idea, will this plan, will this curriculum, will this pack of worksheets meet state standards? Now, for homeschoolers, state standards are kind of one of those sticky topics. I have five boys, and so far two of them, one is in college and one is entering high school. And they are very much college-minded kids so far. So with that in mind, I tend to filter what I'm teaching my children where I weave state standards into what I'm teaching so that they're not blinded by them when they do take those tests that they need, the, the star testings, the SATs, entrance exams, that sort of thing. Um, no test can test the, the brilliance of your own child unless you write it because if I write the test for your child, I'm not going to know what it is that you have spent the time um, investing into their lives. So I use state standards for that reason because colleges and universities have their own idea of what my children should be learning. And while I don't plan my school year or my day around them particularly, I do pay attention to them so that my kids are not blinded or blindsided by them when, they, when they're tested according to them for college purposes. Um, the second filter that I use is does, does the subject, does the topic, does the idea excite me as an educator? If I can't wrap passion into something that I'm teaching, then I have a hard time transferring that passion onto my kids. If I want to teach them about the Civil War, I better care that, about the Civil War and the things that I want to teach them. So school's not always about being fun, but I do take that filter into consideration. Will this be something that I will enjoy teaching my kids? And will it be something that they will enjoy learning and that they can throw their heart into? Because we do a lot of projects and it would be, it's nice when the kids are interested in the subjects that they're learning. And the last filter that we use is, is this subject, is this thing necessary? In my kids' life, it is necessary that they know their math facts. It is necessary that they write legibly. It is necessary that they eventually learn to spell well. It is necessary that they can communicate on paper and in speech with other people. 
So when I'm looking for things to supplement those areas, I'm looking, do they meet the, the core um, qualifications that I'm looking for that help me get the kids to the end goal where they have become, um, where they equipped to handle the things that they're going to be excited about later. So anyway, this, this whole video is about setting your filter. I would keep your filter um, simplified. For me, it's those three checkpoints. Um, sometimes there's um, other things that I take into consideration, but those are the main three. So um, do they meet state standards? Do you care? Um, I do because we're college bound. Um, do they excite me? Are they things that the kids would love to learn about? And are they necessary? So with, the, with that in mind, we're going to wrap up this video and set about setting your filters, and I look forward to talking to you some more about curriculum next time.